Today I'm going to talk about soldering with your own homemade flux. Now I'm going to show you my old flux pen. I got this on eBay for a few dollars. It's a Kesta 186 Rosin Flux Type RMA and I've not had it very long but already the felt tip is looking sort of destroyed and it's leaking and I could buy a new one but instead I made some flux myself. Here it is, this attractive pine smelling amber liquid. Plenty of it too. Now I made this by um, got to a pine tree and scraping up a load of gum and then I swished it around in some 99% isopropyl alcohol overnight and then just filtered it with a coffee filter and here it is. It's quite, it's quite thin um, and so I'm going to apply it with a q-tip. Here we go. Now I've got a um, SOT23 to dip breakout board here. I'm just going to cover those pads with a little bit of flux. There we go, that's done now. Now I've got some uh, lead-free, flux-free solder here. So with flux-free solder, you know, I'd have a problem soldering anything with no flux. So here I go. I'm going to just apply a little bit of solder to those pads, so it's going on really nicely. Uh, yeah, no problem at all with that so far. Uh, no burnt flux seems to be going on just fine. Uh, apart from my lousy soldering skills. Um, now I've got a very tiny chip here. This is a micro 3.3 volt uh, voltage regulator that I'm going to stick on here uh, and attempt to solder. Well, I may have to go back and apply a little bit of extra solder to those legs on the other side, but these ones look good. I touch up here, and I'm getting a nice piney smell. No burnt flux at all. And these legs are sticking nicely to the pads, or they would do if I had any soldering skills at all. 